Hey everybody, a long time no see. I was actually on vacation, which felt pretty great. Uh, but we're gonna be talking all about course launches, uh, evergreen for the next few weeks. So I wanna kick off with what, you know, there's a lot of confusion and frustration around list building. So I wanna address this kind of in a, in a very, in a very organic and passionate way because I do things a little bit differently. So, you know, you take it as, as another option for you while you're list building or if you're just starting with courses, those are the first steps you give, right? So the question I get the most for launch plan in a day is whether or not I teach how to list build. And the short answer is no, Launch Plan in a Day has obviously the planning steps for your, for your list building to grow your list for your launch, but it doesn't go into details, right? And, but that's not to say that list building is not a very critical part of the process, right? If you are just starting out, or if you have been doing this for a while, but without a lot of traction, the list building is nothing more than the, the, the first offer that we usually see people making, right? You're gonna offer something for free, usually, and people are gonna give them your their email so you can get in touch. That means they are gonna they are willing to learn more, to hear more about you. So when you're frustrated about like my list building is not working, it's not about the list building process per se, but very often if you have the basics, if you know the basics, if you know what's working right now, and I have a resource for you guys later today. If you know what, how to do it, like the ins and outs, um, the problem is your offer. Whatever you're offering to whomever you are offering is not connecting. And that is something you have to troubleshoot and tweak and move it around and change until you get it right. Because listen to this, like if you cannot make someone, if you, if you don't have an offer good enough for people to just give their email, how good is your offer for people to pay you <laughs> money, right? So there's something there that you need to fix, right? So this is the main concept of list building. And I wanted to just make sure that if you're frustrated, if you're not getting the numbers, if you're not growing fast enough, think a little bit like it's easy to say, oh, whatever I'm doing, like how I'm going to try a challenge. I'm going to try something else like quiz. There's no magic bullet for list building. You can be posting on social media and getting people in. If your offer, the freebie you are offering is a great offer and people want it, okay? So it's a little tough love here, but I think there's a lot of people looking at the wrong direction when list building is not really working, all right? So a little troubleshooting. I, fair in all fairness, you probably know this, I don't really list build, right? Because I have uh, my programs in Evergreen, I don't really list build for a launch. Despite that I am starting later this month, um, later in August, I am starting to list build for a new program, but I don't really do in the real sense. So that's what I wanted to say as well. Like what is the difference between list building and what, what I, when I introduce her, if you heard it before, what is a launch list? So list building, you're growing your list, you know, maybe you have uh, services that you sell, you know, it's for your business. In general, you should be doing 24 seven, like it's something that you do, do always, and you kind of have peaks and valleys, you'll have bigger promotions and things like that. Now, if you are going to launch something specifically, you wanna build a list of people that are interested specifically in that launch, specifically in that, that uh, um, offer that you are making. And I 
I personally prefer this concept a lot more because it's focus is faster and you can test it out okay it's not about your entire business it's only about that offer so a launch list is a list of people interested in the topic or the, the course that you're gonna launch next usually you start combining you start you start getting that list ready uh, a month before or whenever you're ready to actually start promoting your offer so Let's put it as an example, if you're launching your course in a month, you can start selecting or, or getting people into your launch list today. And you can do several things to get people in your list. You can have a freebie that's specific, that helps people understand your offer, your course. You can have, you can launch a quiz if you have the time, but it's very targeted, very specific. You can do lives like this, like hey, you can start having lives and then put a put a link on the bottom. Like, guys, if you like, the, if you want to talk more about list building, here's a link. Let's get talk. Let's talk about it. So it's a very specific way. You can even run ads. I've done that several times very successfully you grow your your main list you list build but you also do a targeted approach and you create a small list that can be as small as 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 you have you can make an offer to 10 people if they are the right people and the offer is the right offer for them they will buy so there's no problem there there's no size that determines the success of a launch list okay so launch list much more focused approach you can put ads create a budget this is what i did last year for most of the the last part of the year to promote the kits i would create a budget like let's say 500 dollars. i would put all of that into ads for a webinar for example and i would launch the kit right there so it's a very targeted approach because people coming into my list would come for that webinar that obviously was related to the course, or they would come through a an opt-in that was very related to the offer I was gonna put in front of them, and I could test right there. So put $500, run the offer, see how many sales you had. Sales, no sales, made your money back, made a profit, whatever the result is you can see in as early as like a couple of weeks if you really focus and if you have traffic and you get people in you can test your entire offer your entire course without all the suffering and if you're not getting anybody in your list if nobody's like answering to your to to your offer your free offer time out there's something you need to change there okay don't push forward like it's a mistake that we make to think that oh no when my course is ready when my sales page is ready let me hire a graphic designer let me hire a copywriter then my sales when my sales page is ready people are gonna buy if they're not interested if you haven't troubleshooted how to communicate your topic idea how to give a small benefit to people it's going to be really hard to sell them in a full process okay so list building launch list building is very critical to make sure that your offer and the people you're targeting and your message are all aligned they make sense okay it's something that we get frustrated like my launch list is not growing my launch is my list is not growing probably you need to tweak some things get creative you're probably not reaching the right people or something and something is not connecting okay going forward just pushing forward is not the solution all right so the first thing i i, I look at when i'm looking at a funnel that some or a course that someone once you put an evergreen, it's like, have they done enough testing? Do they know enough about the message, about the, the, uh, about the offer? And do they know where to get those people? Because evergreen is just this 24 seven, right? It's just looking for the right people, putting in front of them, making sure they see it and make a decision. It's nothing else. So if you don't know this, you don't need to have launched your course successfully or have put your course into 
a hundred thousand dollars but you need to make sure that you have the right message and list building or launch list building like i do is very critical okay i hope that's a good overview and in a good like different perspective about launch um about list building because i think people get a little bit confused and there's a lot of frustration around it i think it's it, uh, list building takes gets a bad rap for no reason the problem might be in your offer in your message not really on list buildings in and out that said if you're just starting out if you i know i get a lot of questions about like how to list build like i'm on that stage hey catherine uh i get a lot of questions about that uh amy has amy Proderfield has a great course uh, about list building i'm gonna put the link right below um and i recommend because it will give you the ins and outs the latest trends like what's what's working out so if you don't have that foundation if you don't know how to do it how to troubleshoot and test that's a great starting point okay i'll put it on the on the link below now we talked about list building why to do it and launch list as well uh so just to be super clear like even though even if you want to have things in evergreen like i said you have to master that transaction and the list or launch uh, uh list building is the easiest cheapest f fastest way to test your offer your message your main premise what you're talking about okay so i want to See you guys reframe list building <laughs> a little bit and you know it's an important tool in your business and also final final little nugget here uh if you don't know if you're gonna go forward with an offer like don't take too long creating a huge list to then launch right some people know exactly what they're gonna do oh my goodness they are like awesome service providers they do um photographers that are going to teach other photographers or um, you know is you know exactly who your people are what you're teaching those cases sometimes you gotta you know you gotta put a little bit more effort and just grow your list because you know exactly what they need you know exactly what you're gonna do but for everybody else that is trying to figure it out like what course exactly what is the promise it's still troubleshooting the offer part make sure you think or at least consider a launch list and quick launch take action fast because the worst thing is to have 2,000 people on your list that you paid thousands of dollars to get with Facebook ads and you know months and months to learn everything and to put PDFs out there and all of that jazz and they're not your right they're not the right people for your offer that happened to me and it happens to so many people like you gotta find the right person for the offer and if you're growing a list just for the sake of growing a list you just don't know if those people are gonna buy so if you have a list of any size try to make a small offer start talking to them like on lives or putting freebies out there about the topic that you're gonna test and as soon as you can do test a paid offer with your list to see that you are getting the right people right i get a lot of people like excited oh i'm growing my list with like cents or my list costs you know ten dollars to get one person in my list i said that doesn't matter what matters is is this the right person are you talking to the right person for your offer and if you don't have an offer yet you gotta test it out okay so this is like my pet peeve my my uh my little chat of the week i am not the expert but i know amy is so i'm putting her link here because i just i am not the expert on list building by all means uh it takes too long i fail too many times but i do use the list concepts in this in this launch list for everything i do i do everything when i was testing 
uh, when I was testing launch plan in a day, I used a challenge, a free challenge. That's list building, right? You need to know how to how to get people on your list in your in your in your uh, boot camp in your challenge. So I use those concepts for everything. I just did an affiliate for um, James Wedmore. I use the launch list the same exact way that I did before. I created my own links. I created my own free things and I was capturing people into that launch list, people that were interested in business by design, in learning more about business, digital business and so on. So I highly, highly encourage you to create that launch list and go with it and really troubleshoot when you feel it's easy uh, and most people are afraid of that, but you will come. If you try enough, if you try different things, if you keep going, change your message, change who you are talking to, change things until you find what feels right and what's bringing you the right people for your offer, okay? Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you very soon. I'll be making more of those lives um, more often now that I'm back from vacation. Okay, guys, bye.